I had this dream where like I was, I think I was in some sort of like a Navy training program or something. The last thing I had to do was I had to learn the procedure to get rescued from the sea by a helicopter. And I was told to jump into this like gigantic Olympic sized swimming pool. And I'm wearing a life jacket, which fit. And uh, I jumped into the, the, the swimming pool and there's this little tiny shark. It was like really small. And he just kept floating around. The, they say the shark was to put it was put in there to help you get over your fear of, of sharks, which made no sense to me either. But of course the shark just kind of swims around. It, it's tiny shark, so it's not gonna like eat you or anything. And sure enough, here comes the helicopter over the horizon and the helicopter swoops in and the, the diver jumps out of the side door into the water and he swims over to me and he sees me and he immediately tells me that I'm too big to be picked up by the helicopter. And he apologized and then he swam off and then the helicopter came back and picked him up and left. And then by now everybody else had left because I was going last. So here I was in this swimming pool with this little shark and nobody's around. And then eventually the shark got bored and even swam off. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. I don't know if it's like a body image thing. It was a very bizarre dream. I remember just after that I woke up and like it was so surreal that I, like, I woke up. I just sat there in the dark for like an hour, just trying to figure out what it meant, if anything. Meh. Yeah. It's later in the day. I've actually given more thought to that weird dream and I thought about it long and hard. That's what she said. And um, it still doesn't make any sense. So we'll just write it off as a weird dream. So I did have a small victory. I got invited to lunch with my coworkers by our boss's boss's boss. I think that's the level of boss. Anyways. He took us all out to lunch, and um, <laughs> for whatever reason, he chose Ruby Tuesdays, which was nearby, and we're like, whatever, he's from out of town, so let's go to Ruby Tuesdays. But I was smart, and ahead of time, I looked up the menu for Ruby Tuesdays, and I went through everything, and I found something on the menu that was perfect for me, that fit into my diet and didn't wreck anything, and all I had to do was just pull off some tortilla crisps off of this side salad. But I ended up having this like chicken breast with salsa and like, oh my God, it was so good. But when I was done eating, uh, I finally finished my work for the day and went home and I was like, man, I am ferociously hungry. And I looked up online and while it was a light menu item for them, um, it was only like 280 calories or something, but like it had like 50% of your sodium for the day. I'm just like, oh my God, <laughs> why? <laughs> That's the restaurants for you. But I just sort of added to that by having some beans when I got home. Beans. So yeah, I ate really good and uh, it was a good day. So I can't fault myself for that. Other than the weird, bizarre dream. Yeah. It's snowing. The wife's coming to pick up the kids. And they're going to go watch Sonic. Which means I'm going to take a nap. So, I'm going to get off here and go take a nap. Boop boop.